recording. All right, E, you want to kick it, it off? It is recording. It is? Sure. You do it. Welcome to the Unbeatable You Base. We are coming to you um, from two different sides of the world. Um, <laughs> I'm here in Panama, Michael. I am south of, uh, let's just say Boston, south of Boston, but East there Coast. There you go. Our own, both of our hometowns. That's right. um, and we're coming here to share with you um, a base program we call Unbeatable You. And we have this, this program that we developed that have the three elements that we think are absolutely necessary for you to kind of get forward and move out of a stuck spot if you find yourself in one. Um, and this is, this is really what this program is about. We found that there was a, a number of people that were, that were reaching out to us because they were just stuck. And, and so we developed this based on our experiences and what you guys said you needed. So do you want to um, chat a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, well, first of all, thank you everyone for, 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 for chiming in, for tuning in here and, 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 and in your time. I mean, your time is precious to us and we really don't take it for granted. So thank you for, for giving us this time. We promise to make it as valuable as we possibly can because our goal at the end of the day, at the end of this webinar is to make sure we provide you with the utmost value um, for uh, tuning in here. So you're probably wondering out of the gate. Yeah, I always like to say every time I jump on a, on a, on a webinar or anything, a call, it's like, what am I doing here? What's, why did I show up for this thing? And you might be, if you guys are on here, you might be wondering that as well. It's like, what is this all about? Why am I here? Are they trying to sell me something? Is it, what's the catch? And the, the truth is guys, is we're here to serve you. Uh, Cause that's my ultimate uh, goal. And so is Elizabeth through the work we do. So like Elizabeth said, we've been reaching out to our clients and they've actually reached out to us. And we always like to say that We've created this in collaboration with our family, friends, our clients, our communities, because we've asked the question and then from the feedback we got as far as like, hey, where people are in their lives and as far as what they want, where they want to go, there's like some disconnect there. And by, pe by uh, kind of matched up these pieces from what the information we received and in our own personal lives as well, we've been, been able to come up with uh, Unbeatable You, more importantly, these three strategies that we're going to cover in today's webinar as far as how to get you from where you are, at least get that journey going from where you are to where you want to be. Whether it's more health, more happiness, more money, a better career, better relationships, we'll, we'll address all that in this webinar here today. So that's just a little snippet for now. And I love what you say about let's get this journey started because that's really what this is. This is the base that yeah. will help you to get the journey started, help you get some focus, help you get a path, and then help you stay on that path. And that's what today's session is going to give you. Um, and that's three of the very key elements that we heard from you folks that you wanted from us. So um, based on our professional backgrounds and our personal journeys, we developed this base program to bring you guys today because we want to see more people living the lives that they really want to. So we've included a file at the top of the Unbeatable You page. There's a file linked to this page. So please feel free, if you haven't already, go ahead and download that right now so that you can do this alongside the program. Now, if you don't have enough time to finish it all, or if you want to think more about it after the program, by all means, feel free to do more work with that afterwards, or we'll leave this file up. Come back anytime if you want to revisit this, because this can change. We change, right? Our desires, our goals change. I mean, Mike, are you where you wanted to be before? I mean, do you still have the same goals that you had 10 years ago, five years ago, five months ago? No, they keep, well, they, that's a cool thing. They keep changing and evolving. They're, they're, mm -hmm. they're, as I, I believe they should, I think, because I think growth equals happiness. So, of course, they keep changing and, 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 and getting better. And some just, you just keep tweaking it. You know, even as I get older, there's some, some things I'm willing to do. So, there's some things as I get older that I'm not willing to do. And that's all part of the process and, you know, part of what we'll talk about, too. So, yeah, it's an evolution. It's, it's not this thing that, you know, once you set it in stone, it's like, that's it. And, you know, and that's a good thing because sometimes that can be scary. Like you have to know for sure 
where what you're gonna put down because that's then that's it. That's your that's your future for the next ten years. That's not the case. You gotta put a plan in place, stop following it, and as you go, you tweak and you change and you adjust and you get better. So to answer your question, you no, know, it's it's a, it's a, it's just like this evolution. And yeah, the evolution is you keep progressing and get higher and better. But yeah, it's it's an constant change and, and uh, it's exciting if you ask me <laughs> if you if you ask me. Oh yeah, it's not it doesn't stay stale, right? Um, it's always changing. It's always exciting. I will add one more thing, guys. If you're here, there's a good chance. There's a good chance because we've been talking about this for the last month plus now. If you're here, it's probably for one of three reasons. Either one, you know, in your life right now, currently, it's not that you're unhappy or you're miserable. If you are, I'm sorry, but chances are you're not. You, you, no, I really am. I hope hopefully you're not. But you, you're like, hey, I'm comfortable. I have a good life, but I know there's more. I want more. I just don't necessarily know what more is. So either that you're in those shoes or it's like, hey, I know what my more, I know what I want. I just don't know where to start, how to get there. Um, that's shoes number two, if you will. And then shoes number three, perhaps you have tried. You've gotten gutsy and you've gone for it and something happened. It didn't go as, as planned. You didn't have the support. You know, your plan wasn't, you know, it didn't work. Life happens. Life happens as it does to all of right. us. And now you're like, darn it. And now you're stuck in fear. Am I going to fail again? Is it even worth it? So if you're here, you're, you're, you're probably in one of those three, one of those three situations. I don't know if this is good news or bad news, but I've actually been in all three of those. <laughs> so I yeah, can relate to all three, so can E. But the cool thing, you know, as much as I don't like that I've been in all three situations, it also gives us perspective as far as, hey, how does that feel and what are we feeling or what's necessary to get you out of those? So if you're here and you find yourself in any one of those three situations, you're, you've come to the right spot. We're going to address all three of those and how to bounce from that going forward. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I want to encourage you throughout this, as we move through the program, and, and we're going to jump into it in just yeah. a moment, um, please feel free to write any questions in the comments section below, and we're going to do a Q&A at the very end of this. So we'll address all the questions that we possibly can. And, and Mike and I have, um, have, have determined we're going to stay on till all the questions are done. So Right. Um, one way or another, we're going to get to your question. So if you have a question, feel free, draw it down there and we will make sure that we get to it. Um, Absolutely. so very excited to have you here and, and let's kind of jump into, you know, just a little bit about, I mean, you alluded to the fact that we've both been in, in, in all three of these experiences, right? So, a little bit about me. Um, I currently live in the tropics of Panama, mm -hmm. um, but I'm a Boston native, born and raised, and I was a single mom raising two kids from below the poverty level. And I didn't necessarily know where I wanted to be, but I knew I did not want to be where I was. And, um, and that was what I started with. I didn't have this great big vision. I didn't have a, I want to live on the beach. I didn't have any of that. I just had what I got going on right now is not where I want to be. And I didn't have enough help to get myself out. All the Tony Robbins programs and Jim Rohn programs, they all cost a lot of money. And yeah. Frankly, I didn't have it. So that's part of the reason why we created this free webinar because we've both been in those situations where we were looking for some advice, some help, and we couldn't find it that we could afford. So we wanted to create this so you can have it regardless of what your financial situation is. So that's, that's where we started from. And, and I started reading all sorts of the greats because I couldn't go to their seminars. And I found bit by bit how to pull myself out of where I was and develop goals and to get to where I was. It got me out of my stuck spot, helped me learn how to create change in my life. Um, and I fell a bunch of times hmm. along the way for sure. Um, I didn't have accountability. I didn't have, you know, everything I needed, but you know, I just kept getting up and trying again. So that's a little bit of my story and my background. I'm now a life coach. I've been a life and business coach for a little over six years and I help people get from where they are to where they want to be. 
um, whether that's starting a business or whether that's any anything that they are dreaming up, I help them see what's possible and I help them reach that. That's so that's me. That's uh, so much, so much. There's so much goodness there, Ian, and it's just that's another reason why I love working with you, just because we, I relate to uh, Elizabeth in so many ways, and you guys listening to that probably do as well. Like you might have heard her say, like, "Hey, I'm, I'm that's me," you know. And that's, that's what we always, that's why we try to share as much as we, we do, just because we're not that different at the end of the day. We might want kind of like different things, but how we feel internally and what we're looking for, it's not that different. Um, and I think mm -hmm. that sometimes we just don't express that. And that's why Ian and I try to be as expressive and as upfront and real with you guys as possible, just because at the end of the day, the core, we're, we're kind of, we're very similar. Um, my story is... Um, you know, I grew up, I always say, I'll keep it brief, but you know, I, I, I didn't grow up with the best support system, account, not accountability, excuse me, the best support system, motivation. My story as a eight year old, nine year old kid was more, hey, you're not good enough, smart enough, you're not gonna be successful, you're just kind of a punk, you just take what you can get. That was kind of crappy. So that was my limiting belief and kind of, you know, once that's ingrained in your head and for you, it could be, I don't know, you, maybe you guys have your own stories of, you know, if, if it's a weight thing, I'm big boned or money's not, you know, money's bad or, you know, I just don't have the education to be successful. You know, I just, this is these limiting stories we tell ourselves and mine held me back. Oh my God, for like decades, just because that's what I believed. And so between that and then there was fear and then, you know, I did try finally got courage and I tried, I failed. And then I was held back, but you know, heaven forbid you fail. You, you know, you already have those limiting beliefs. I was held back for two years. So I just had this, this consistent, um, this is pattern of, of not getting to what I wanted to get to. And FYI, guys, just if I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't even know what I wanted to get to. I just knew I wanted this mm -hmm. thing. I wanted to be happy. I wanted to like love what I did and have these great relationships. But I never clearly defined it, which now makes all the sense to me in the world. It's like I was trying to hit this target, but I didn't know what my target was. So, and that's why anyways, we're going to dive into that, why it's so important um, to create like, you know, we call it your perfect day. But I didn't know what I was after. So even though I was frustrated and I had these limited beliefs, I didn't know how to get past these limited beliefs. And even if I did, and I used to try to, I didn't, know, I didn't even know what direction I was going in. So it was the most frustrating thing ever. And literally through like trial and error, and I say always through just luck. I just found the right books, found the right people. Kind of you just figure it out. And luckily you find people along the way, people like Elizabeth, my mentor, like Jim Rohn, uh, you know, Tony Robbins, uh, Richard Branson, which eat loves uh, but you find you know these successes that you love and you respect they always say success leaves clues so I've taken all this all the clues I have found uh, through my own personal experiences through you know those I, I follow through the clients I've worked with through you know mentors like E and, and, and uh, accountability partners and be, thank God with using utilizing all that I've now I'm down the path now where I'm happy and I'm hell I feel healthy mm -hmm. and I'm fulfilled with where you know my life is going but it wasn't always like that. Um, and I'll, I'll just say right. one more thing, guys. And this is why I am beatable UI. I get very excited about it as far as, you know, delivering it and, and sharing it with you guys like we're about to do right now. Because this is like he said, this is the foundation, the base. You know, whether you're out to, you know, look, look for a new career, start an online business, you want better relationships. You know, that's like the mechanics of doing that, how to do that, the how. We can pretty much figure out more than ever. It's free. It's readily accessible online. But going the distance, being able to go the distance day after day, after week, after month, after year, that's the challenge. And that's the challenge that a lot of programs do not address. And for whatever reason, I don't know, I don't, don't know why they don't, maybe just because they focus on the how, but E and I, we're, we are committed to helping you set the foundation because without that foundation, you know, overcoming the limited beliefs, the negative self-talk, the drift, the falling off track, all these issues that get in our way. Um, if, if we're not prepared to address that, it's, it's tough to go the distance. And again, we'll talk more about that in the three steps we'll address here today, but that's my story. That's my journey. That's why I'm so excited, uh, to share this with you guys. And that's why we're here to provide this for free, because if you do nothing else, but take these three steps and follow through with them, I promise you. And so does he, you have a word, you will be on your path to get into where you want to get to. I don't give it's more money, more health, better relationships. If you follow these three, these three um, uh, strategies we're about to share with you. And that's, that's the greatest thing. So, you know, let's the, let's start the journey, right? Yeah. Let's begin the journey. And the, be, the journey begins with being clear about what we want. Mike alluded to it Oof. earlier that, 
you know, we, we can't hit what we don't define. And one of the things that we both talk to our clients about is what does your day look like when it's great? And, and as he said earlier, you know, your life might be fine, but you're thinking, well, is there more? Well, what does more look like to you? And that's where we want to start because that's where everything begins. It begins with the dream. It begins with what you're looking for. And it begins with focus and clarity. So if you pull out that file from um, the downloaded file from our page, it begins with defining your perfect day. And here's the thing is, you know, don't get hung up on how you're going to get all these things that you want, right? I want a Maserati. Okay, but I don't have the money. My credit is in the trash, right? Don't worry about that right now. Just identify what it is that you want. I want to live on the beach. I want to work from my couch. I want to not work. Whatever that is, don't worry about how you're going to get there but get yourself some idea of what you are looking for because that saves so much time. I, if I could have had a little bit more clarity of what I was looking for, I would have shaved years off of my struggle and my journey. I'm sure of it. And it took me a while to think about and get clear about what it was that I really wanted so I could add those elements into my day. Yeah. You know, I, here's a, I'm going to be honest with you guys, and maybe you guys are thinking the same thing. And th I thought this for years. I used to think this is so kind of fluffy and foofy, really, right down my perfect day. Okay, that's cute. Like, this is going to really, really going to help me. I'm being honest, guys. And it's, and, and, and it's funny that now I'm telling you, no, this is what's mu it's a must. So I like to always share that with you because I'm sure a lot of you guys might be feeling that as well. And let me tell you, I used to feel that because I, didn't, I couldn't relate. How does me identify my perfect day? Great, I've identified it. How, what does that do for me? Have you guys ever been in a car where you're daydreaming? I'm not proud to say I do this occasionally, but you know, you're just spacing out and you're spacing out. You're thinking in, but meanwhile, wherever you were headed, you get there and you get there and you're like, who's it? Who's driving the car? Like you don't even realize how you got there. How'd you turn signal? How'd you stop at the light? How'd you, but you got there, right? That is, and I don't want to get too deep here, but that is like your subconscious mind. You have driven so many times. You knew where you were going that you didn't even have to think. Like whether you knew it or not, your subconscious mind was working for you to get you there because you've done it. That's why when we create the perfect day, when we know we set our target, whether you know it or not, you've, you've, you've programmed your unconscious to like start to look for what it is you want. Mm -hmm. And it wants to do that, but if you haven't given it its coordinates as far as what to look for specifically, it won't know. It's like kind of just looking around all aloof, right? But if you set that, if you, it's almost like a GPS, you set that destination, Man, it starts, look, whether your conscious mind knows it or not, your subconscious is looking for ways to create that. That's the power behind setting that clear, specific, perfect day, if you will. And like he said, just dream. Don't think about how mm. you'll create it. Just dream because you, that powerful mind of yours, man, it'll start going to work for you and do things you never thought possible it could do for you. So anyways, that's the power, guys, behind the perfect day exercise. It really is. And, and we're not just saying you're going to think it and it's going to happen because <laughs> right. we get that. It doesn't, that's not how it works. But the only way that you can start bringing some of these elements of what you would consider your perfect day into your every day is to name them, to identify them. You know, if my perfect day starts off having a, a cup of coffee and going for a morning exercise, whether that's a walk or a run or yoga, whatever, well, I don't need to wait until I'm rich and famous to do that. I can do some yeah. of that today. How do I do that? That's our next step. But, but you know, if I identify it, then I can see, well, I don't have to wait. If exercise is important to me in the morning or meditation or whatever, you know, if my perfect day includes that, how can you find elements that you wish for in your future and bring them into today? Well, you got to identify what they are and then you start to bring them in one at a time and all of a sudden, holy crap, this is the way I wanted my days to go. <laughs> awesome. Right? <sighs> It's so, exactly so right. spend some time on that perfect day exercise, fill in those questions 
but also come up with your own. Like if, if there's a, a element of your perfect day that's not asked in that, don't be restricted to that. If you want, pull out your journal and just call out, hey, this is what my perfect day looks like. Um, those are just some prompts to help you get started to think about what would that look like for you? Because that's where it all starts, guys. That's where the journey begins, and that's where the juice is. That's yeah. where everything is beginning, and that's where our base starts. That's right. Yeah, and be and get ex like I just I just got excited by how he said that. Get excited about it, guys. Make it exciting goals. Make that perfect day exciting. You know, really vivid. Picture it. Write it down. Be clear. Be specific. You know, I, make it so that it's exciting. That you read that, like, man, I want that. You know, because if it's just kind of like, like, for example, say like, you know, I like to stay healthy and in shape. It's like, okay, I exercise six days a week. You know, if I write that down, it's like, okay, then all of a sudden to my mind comes, I got to get up early. I got to go sweat it up. And, but if I'm like, man, I want to feel vibrant. I want to get up. I want to go run sweating, feel great. Come home, have all these ideas flowing through me, have this call with me. Like if you put it in that kind of context, you can't help but get fired up. So make that perfect day as exciting and motivating as you can, because Listen, if, you, if it doesn't influence you to, like, get excited, I, I don't, you know, how, how are we expected to take action on it if it's kind of like, yeah, I don't know, I could take and it. And it can't bit. possibly be your perfect day if <laughs> no, you're not exactly. excited about it. That's exactly. not perfect. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah, this huge step, guys, perfect day. And, again, real quickly, I'll say one more thing. E, you and I talk about this all the time. Listen, guys, my perfect day is different than ease. Could be different than ease. Actually, I think it is. Your perfect day is probably different than your family's. Maybe it's the same. So there's not a right or wrong. Like your perfect day could be the most simplest day, but for you, that's like paradise. That's perfect. Right. And someone else's could want like this extravagant lifestyle. And if that's it, that's what it is for them. So be it. So there's not a right or wrong answer here, guys. Whatever that is for you, that is your definition of a perfect day. All right. Yeah. And this only has to please you. It right. doesn't have to please anybody else. This exactly. is, this is unbeatable. You is about you. <laughs> so let's make this about you. Yes. So, so once we get through this perfect day exercise, the next really important thing is, okay, we've got all these elements that make up our perfect day. How are we going to get there? That's where overwhelm happens to set in. Yep. That's where people set these goals that don't fit in their lives. That's where people get into this whole area of either procrastination, overwhelm, and inaction, right? So we then, you know, imply this great scientific law, the Pareto law, and this is one of Michael's favorite love things. Love it. I, I, I love this one so much just because I just struggle with this one. Uh, when I say struggle with it, guys, and tell me if you can relate, where, you know, I, I knew what I wanted, right? I knew like, hey, I want X you know, whatever, say it's like, I want six pack abs and you know, all these things that like you write down, you have to do for it. Like, I was like, Oh my God, I gotta do all these 12 of these things. And there's like this big list. And maybe for you, it's like, Hey, I want to travel more. Like, Oh my God, I have to make money. I have to live differently. I gotta live out all these things you feel like you have to do. And the cool thing is guys, this is the Pareto law states this, that, you know, if you have a list of 15 things you think you have to do to achieve that one goal you're after, more often than not, there's probably like one, two, max three things in that list of 15 that will yield you 80% of the results. I'm going to repeat that, guys. If you have a goal and you've listed out all the things you feel like will help you get that goal, Pareto Law states that out of all those things you've listed, there's usually two, about two of them that will yield you 80% of the result. So what I'm telling you, in other words, you... And you, this is up to you. You guys are going to look at everything you write down as far as like, okay, the, this is my perfect day, right? And if I'm getting ahead of myself here, you stop me, but. No, like, no, you're perfect. Right? Like, here's your perfect day. Like, okay, wh what are some of the things, you know, out of my perfect day that, you know, look, if this is my perfect day, like I want to wake up on the beach. I want to have coffee. I want to work from home. I want to, you know, work out six days a week. You, you've written down all these things that your perfect day looks like. If you look at your perfect day, guys, what a one, actually, let's say two, right? E? What are two things that if you did out of your perfect day, you feel would yield you 80% of the, of like the, the, the happiness, the fulfillment, that level of energy and, and health that you want, that you're looking for. Is there two things in all those things you've, you've identified in your perfect day that you feel would yield you 80%? Am I missing something here, E? 
No, no, that's, that's it. I mean, there's, there's a small amount, you know, here's the thing is we get it that we're all busy. We all have I think we lost Elizabeth there for a second. My computer died on me and now I'm back, I think. No worries, I'm we back. have, no, oh, there she Sorry, <laughs> and then my other one will disappear shortly. No worries. So, sorry about that. So, we have um, lots of things going on in our lives. So, our goal, <laughs> in this program and anything we ever bring to you is to be as efficient as possible. We are trying to help, we get it, right? We get it and you know what? We don't just talk about this stuff, we do this stuff, we use this stuff. So we have pretty busy lives ourselves, right? And so we do the same thing. We take a look at what we're going after and then figure out what are the main things that are gonna bring us closest to that as possible. And we pick and focus on those things. So that's what makes the Pareto Law so great is we're helping you to narrow down from the, all the list of things that you can do and narrow it down to just a couple so we can help you fit that into your day so you can actually accomplish that and you can get to your goal faster. You don't have to do everything you're looking to do or you think you need to do to achieve what you're looking for. You just have to do a couple of things with great enthusiasm um, and, and you can have what you're looking for. Yeah, and and I'll, I'll share guys. I'll just quickly share, you know, I have this, you know, elaborate plan of my perfect day, you know, and interestingly enough, one out of my two that it's like, Hey, if I do this, it's going to, it gives me 80% of my happiness. You know what that is? And maybe you guys saw this one coming, but it literally is exercise just because I knew that was coming. If, but if I exercise regularly guys like, and this is look, look, I'll share with you. You know, I've gone through, you know, failed, failed businesses where I lost $20,000, if not more from family and friends who invested in me, who believed in me. Um, I lost my dad to cancer. I went through a divorce, like these crappy times in my life. And wouldn't you know that exercise, obviously there was more support pieces there, but exercise literally yielded me, if not 70 more percent of my, like it gave me, you know, what I needed to keep, keep pushing through and keep going after the things I wanted. So that's why now I know in my life, whether things are going crappy or great, like if I exercise five plus times per week, man, I feel pretty damn good. And that's just one. You know, my other one is family and friends. I won't bore you guys with that one, but how I, you know, connect with family and friends uh, weekly. But if I do those two things, I feel like my life is perfect. Just those two things, mm -hmm. let alone if I can add the other ones. But so what is that for you? What are those two things that if you did regularly that you're like, man, you know what? my life would be pretty damn good. It doesn't have to be, per even though we call it perfect day, it doesn't have to be right. perfect, but pretty darn close to being perfect, right? <laughs> right, right. We're just trying to get you a little bit more happiness, a little bit yes. more fulfillment, a little more or a little less of the, is this all there is to yes. this? Yes. You know, we're, we're put on this earth, not just to pay bills and go sit in a cubicle and, and just, drill through everything, work for the weekend so that then we can actually relax and do the things we want. We're put on this earth for other reasons. And I truly believe that everybody has the right and the, the, the capability to live their lives in happiness and fulfillment. And that's what we're here to hopefully help you get towards. Exactly. So that's, that's really, you know, about the Pareto law. And again, this is on the worksheet. So grab that worksheet and whether you do it now or whether you do it moving forward, you know, when you get off the call and you're still thinking about this, take a look at that and think about all the things that you could do to get to your perfect day. And what are some of the top couple of things that if you did those would get you closest to that or closest to more fulfillment or what have you. Yes. And then pick those two things to focus on. And again, then you take those things, right? And you look at, well, what can I do that will make 80% of that 
right? And so it, you just continue to break down using the Pareto law. So yeah, he, he makes a great point here, guys. Just to, to identify is, yes, it's part one. Great, you identified it, awesome. But next, the second part, which is most important, I think, is actually taking action on it. So like I told you guys, if, if I know exercise, that's like one of my two, then okay, okay, exercise, but then now what do I do with that? Then I actually planned out, okay, well, you know what? Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, I'm going to like, you know, I made a plan for those two things I've decided contribute to 80% of my perfect day. So yes, like you said, pick them, but then plan, you know, make a plan around them. So then you're, you're executing on them. So you do that daily, weekly, monthly, you start getting closer and closer and closer to that. Perfect Absolutely. Day. And, and the, the real key to that is not just plan, but put that in your calendar, yes. schedule that as an appointment because yes. that's how, and this is a little preview into our month long program, but that's one of the keys to help you avoid drift. Um, that's one of the keys that helps you from letting it fall off and letting life get in the way is because if you see it on your calendar, it's going to help you to remember that that is something that's a priority for you. So even if you do miss it on a day, it's a visual reminder that this is a priority and how are you going to work with that? So okay. just a preview and a, and a little bonus, um, from mm. our month long program. Right. Um, that goes with the Pareto law. So take your, your couple of things out of your perfect day and then take those things and figure out what are the 80% returns on that. If exercise is your thing, what's the 80% or, or feeling healthy and fit is one of those things. What is that? You know, exercise and diet are going to be your two major impacts for that, right. right? So then you take what 80% of that and just keep breaking it down so you get that and get it in the calendar and get it done. Yes. And, and then the, the, go ahead. No, I was going to say, and, and guys, keep it simple. Don't, you know, I always say, and this works for me because I get overwhelmed quickly. Uh, I, I, maybe you do as well, guys. But, like, you know, complexity, if I make it complex, there's a good chance I won't fall through on it. I know me, and that's how I roll. So that's why I kind of keep it simple. Like exercise, hey, these are the days I'll do it on. You know, for example, if, if yours is like, you know what, I hate my career. I just need something different. Great, you're not going to find a new career tomorrow, but you could just say, you know what, on at least three times a week, I'm going to look, I'm going to look at what's out there and you know, I'm going to plot, like, you know, like small steps to start taking steps. Absolutely. Like so guys, don't, don't make it complex. If you do that, I've done that in the past. I'm guilty of that. And I haven't followed through just because it was so complex. So keep yeah, learn from our mistakes. Yes. Yes. Anyways, I just want to share that with you guys. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. And, and um, the, the last element of all of this is accountability. And that's one of the things that you guys told us that trips you up. And, and part of that is maintaining that motivation and, and maintaining what you start. Like everybody's familiar with that New Year's Eve resolution that they make, that by January 6th, they're off the mark, right? because they don't have any accountability. How many times do they say, if you need to work out, if that's your thing, get a workout partner because you might not get out of bed for yourself, but if somebody's waiting on the corner to meet you to go for a run, you're gonna get up because you're gonna feel like a jerk for not doing that and leaving them out in the cold on January 6th by themselves, <laughs> right? Not for me, but you know, for <laughs> For you in Boston. That's right. Um, but that's it. I mean, accountability is one of those things that will help you show up for yourself. And, you know, here's the thing that I always talk about is, you know, our first, we're, we're created, we're born with accountability needs, right? Because your parents give you, you know, this is what you need to do, or these are your consequences. You go to school. And the first thing that happens is they say, you got to do this work and turn it in, and then you get a grade. If you don't do this work, you get bad grades. And you get into high school, right? You get a term paper, first day of the semester. And I don't know about you, but my term papers always got done between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m., the day they were due. Perfect time. But that was only because I had a deadline and I had accountability. My yeah. teacher was my accountability partner. And, you know, that was huge. Without that, it never would have gotten done. It's true. It's, it's, it's so true. And, and, and guys, I'll share a story myself. And, and, and this, is, this is actually um, 
probably three years ago, maybe four. In any in any case, I committed like like account, from an accountability standpoint. I told my community, I told my family, friends. I went through social media. I'm like, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna run a 50 mile run, an ultra marathon, because I've been wanting to do it, and I've been wanting to saying I'm gonna do it. Never wasn't doing it. So finally, I said, I'm gonna tap this whole accountability piece and see if it works. And so I put it out there. And then once you know it, that you know, as the time started getting closer, I was training for it, but I really had thoughts. I didn't want to go through with it. I didn't. I was scared. I'm like, I can't do this. And if I hadn't have put it out there, if I hadn't used the power of accountability, because then I had people asking me about it. Hey, man, how's it going? How's it training? Man, you've inspired me to start running. And all these, all these like, interactions I'm having, and I'm like, oh, because I put that accountability on myself, I went through with that, you know, the 50 miler, which I maybe I... My, no, there's not a maybe. I probably wouldn't have gone through it if it wasn't for that. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's be honest. And guys, it's one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. And I say that, and I mean, I get goosebumps right now saying it. It was one of the most challenging, most exhilarating experiences of my life that I wouldn't have done if I hadn't had this accountability. So just a quick story to show you the power of, you know, utilizing, and there's different forms. We'll talk about it. I chose to use the public. You don't have to do that. I was just nuts and did that, but there's different forms and I'm sure we'll elaborate on that as well. Yeah, but it's, it's true. It's, you know, generally speaking, and you may be a unique individual, but most of the time we're terrible at being accountable to ourselves. We just oh, yeah. are. And, and we'll show up for other people, but we don't show up for ourselves. So we know this about ourselves. We know this. Mike and I know this about yes. ourselves. And so we understand, and, and he and I have been very accountable in building this program because, you know, it's, I don't want to let him down. He doesn't want to let me down. We get it done, right? And would it have been completed as, as quickly and as well as it would have been if either one of us had created this alone? Probably not. No. Because we would have gotten distracted, and, you know, when one is down, the other one picks you up, and when one is up, the other one says, all right, let's go farther, right? So I think it's, it's a, such a critical element of succeeding and achieving those things that are truly important to you because honestly, we're just not that great about showing up for ourselves. So there's a couple of different types of accountability and some people get a little wiggy with this. So, mm. so you know, here's, here's the deal. We have personal, private, and public, right? And so you want to talk about, I mean, you already alluded to the public um, accountability. You want to explain sure. that a little more? Sure. P public accountability is exactly like I just said. You know, you can, you can, I mean, I did it through social media, which reaches, geez, you know, everyone in your circles. But Way public, too many people. <laughs> a lot. But public could also be just your friends, your, you know, your inner circle, your inner circle, your, you know, if you belong to a group, a running group, it could just be your family, your immediate family, it could be your kids, it could be your neighbors, you know, public. So, you know, the public, whether the public means three people or 3,000 like me. Uh, but that's one form, guys. And again, there's not, I, I keep saying this, but there's not a right or wrong solution. Like whatever works for you, that happened yeah. to work for me. Um, so there's public. And then there's also, uh, like you said, this, this private uh, and then personal. E, do you want to talk about uh, the next one? Actually, maybe even one that you use? Yeah, sure. Well, I, I will talk about personal. And that's just like a one-on-one -on -one or like a mastermind. Um, and I, I you know, already mentioned that you and I yes. um, use that very much in, you know, setting action items and then, and then delivery dates. And, and then we were accountable to each other. Um, I have a mastermind group that I meet with once a month now and, you know, we set out our goals for the week or the month and then we report on them and, you know, those guys aren't going to chastise me if I don't make my goals or, but they are going to be like, Hey, I thought that was important to you. What's going on? Do you want to, you know, do you need some help? Are you running into a roadblock? You know, but it's, it's a great team builder to say we see you we see what's important to you and you really i know you want to do this so let's help you get it done and and i certainly want to be able to say this is what i said i was going to do and i did it 
that's that's on me and i i really appreciate being able to do that so for me personal accountability is you know it's not so out there to so many people but it's out to a certain amount of people who i know love and care about my goals because they love and care about me and so they want to help me succeed and and they're going to help push me in that way and I'm not going to want to disappoint them. So for me personal is one of my favorite kinds. I love that too. Actually like you said we use per, uh, personal accountability to create this uh to create what we've created and yeah. man if it wasn't for it Ian, I mean I, I think I'm a very motivated guy. I really do but You are? But <laughs> but with that said cuz I always get the, hey you're so motivated you don't need accountability guys that couldn't be further from the truth further from the truth. I do need accountability. Yes, I'm a motivated, self-stimulating guy, but I, I want, I need accountability. Like I need, you know, Ian, I would create an unbeatable you. I needed someone to kind of, and it's sometimes it's not even for motivation, it's a reminder like, hey man, remember what we're doing and why we're doing it. And it's like all of a sudden, I was kind of having a hand so-so day. That reminder got me, got me going again. So Fired up. Yes, it's important for so many reasons, guys. And you know, I'll even share one more snippet. You know, I, I, you know, I've been coaching now for, you know, coaching with clients, wellness coaching for, I don't know, she's 18 years now. Um, and I used to just always just work with them like, you know, once, once a week, and it was once a week thing. But when I started adding more accountability with them, like more accountability, like to the, with some of them, even like daily, but it doesn't have to be daily, but daily every other day, when we increase the amount of, of accountability, I wish I had the stats to show you their results went like literally through the roof and it kind of yeah. bothered me. I almost got upset with myself. Like, why didn't I do this sooner? <laughs> you know, but just adding the accountability from once a week to like, you know, a couple of times a week, just, just those check-ins, just the accountability, how much of a drastic increase it made to their results. So I, the reason why I share that guys is because, you know, you might think, Hey, I am motivated. I don't know if I need that. Trust me. It's, it's very beneficial. The last one guys, and sorry, I'm, I'm, I didn't, I should allude mention this because you just mentioned personal i mentioned there's public accountability and then the last one remaining is personal like private private excuse me personal private and maybe you like and e, e and i talked about this i actually use this one too uh whenever i'm doing my public like you know if i'm training like for uh, you know a run or so like i have my like you know my run days like i'll have my monthly like chart on the on the fridge in my days mm -hmm. and then i x them off so I can yeah. see that every day, that private accountability. Am I getting it done? It's a visual. I'm looking at it. So it's, again, I'm holding myself accountable in the private way, private way but that works wonders for me. Plus, not to mention, it feels good to kind of X out one of those boxes every day. You know what? We were in grade school and we would get stars on our yes. desk, right? As little kids. It's the same thing. And for whatever the reason, we still <laughs> like our little star on our desk, right? Yes. So the making the axes, the seeing the progress, right? Seeing the yeah. consistency, it does something to us and it helps. And you know, when you look up there and you're like, damn, I don't have an X there today. I really don't feel like getting out there. And then you just do it because you don't want to you know, break the streak or you just, yes. you, you want to have it up there. And you know, even if it's private and you have kids in the house or whatever, <laughs> that's a little bit of a public little accountability. And you're like, is this what you want to teach your kids? You want to teach them that <laughs> you just give up when you don't feel like it? No, that's right. you want to teach them you just keep going after it. If it's important to you, you keep going after it. Absolutely. So, you know, the, the, the private is motivating and you don't have to choose just one. You can have multiples, right? You can, you can have the, the running calendar, you can have the big Facebook announcement, and you can have somebody that you're running with, or yes. you can be on Strava and you have somebody else that's on Strava with you and you're checking in with them. And you know, whatever it is, um, it doesn't matter however you want to do it, whatever works for you. What we're just doing is giving you guys examples of what can work and right. what we know does work and how you want to make that effect in your life use it use them all um but but definitely use them because accountability is what is going to make the difference between you achieving your goals and between you dropping off
And I, and I hand on heart will, will promise you, if you don't use some form of accountability, if you only are self accountable, you will highly likely just drift off your goals. I, it's just the way it is. It's, it's true. It's, 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 it's true. And guys, and guys, it's, 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 to uh, uh, piggyback off of what he just said, to make this practical, remember that this accountability we're discussing is to apply it to, you know, those two pieces you took out of your Pareto law, like, Hey, if I did these two things, man, that would really contribute highly to me creating that perfect day. So use accountability to make sure whatever those two things are you picked from the Pareto law, that the accountability structure or, or plan or, or, or uh, uh, platform that you've decided to use, whether it's private, public, or personal, or no, personal, uh, private, yeah. I, I did say, okay, yes. I, I feel like I'm all over the place with those now. Yeah, I, I threw in one wrong word, now I'm all over the place. Um, decide which one works for you guys, and then to get those done, like for example, for me, like I said, one of mine was exercise. So I had an exercise buddy that I used to run with, and we don't live near each other anymore, but when I started this some years ago, um, that was it. Like I, I reached out to my buddy, like, Hey, we're going to go run five days a week. You, you down for that? He's like, yep. So that was my, you know, that was, that was like he said, one-on-one, you know, the, per, the personal, that was, um, that was, that worked for me. And that, again, that applied to my, one of my two Pareto laws that led that contributed to my perfect day. So use the accountability to have you doing the things that you picked in your Pareto law that ultimately starts to have you create that perfect day. All right. Yeah. And this really is the base, these three things, if you put these three elements into play, you will be right on your way. We will have you on your journey to creating what you're looking to achieve in your life. And, and I really hope that you utilize these. Like I said, take that spreadsheet away, that, that file and and use it think about it a little more in depth choose your accountability partner really really carefully right and and your accountability method whatever will be you know really motivating to you and and get on it because you know what you don't have to be not fulfilled you don't have to be living a life of quiet discontent you can have what you're looking for you just got to go after it and we're here to say we can help you get there and i think you deserve to be there so let's go let's yeah. go let's get there and, and and let's be honest and i'll say i'll say just a couple of closing comments here on my end before we move on to 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 um to share an exciting uh announcement with you guys as well if, if you're if you're interested um you know, we can't change where we are overnight. We can't change where we are overnight. I wish we could, but we can't, guys. But we, can't, we can change where we're going. And mm-hmm. I, I think my, the, the late Jim Rohn, my mentor, who I love and I, I just respect highly, he used to say it all the time, you can't change where you are overnight, but you can change where you're going. And the way he addressed it, it's like, hey, it's like changing the set of your sail. You know, if you're sailing mm-hmm. the way in which you're going, okay, great. But if you adjust that sail just slightly, and then you draw that out, a week, a month, a year, 10 years, you end up in a completely different place from where you maybe don't want to be to where you want to be. And you've heard this said that we grossly overestimate what we can do in a year's time, but we grossly over, we overestimate what we can do in a year, but underestimate what we can create in 10 years. And I'm not saying it has to be 10 years. It could be two years, three, five, but we always think we're going to do so much in that year but if we really looked at like, well, how about two years and three and five? Because guess what, guys? The time is going to pass anyways. So we might as well not make those adjustments because, man, you're going to end up somewhere so different, so better, so exciting than you ever thought possible. So hopefully you take action on these three steps, these three strategies we share with you. Because if you do, I promise you, you will get to where you want to get to. Yeah. And at the very least, you'll get closer to it. And so that you can reevaluate yes. what's going to get you. But if we, if we don't do anything, you're not going to get any closer to it. That's right. And that's, you know, that's what we want to prevent. And that's what we want to help you, you know, move towards that. That one degree shift is huge over time. And if you don't do anything, you are guaranteed never to get to your perfect day. That, that's just the way it is, unless you're currently living it. And if you are, congratulations. And why are you here? <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> um, so here's a, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, so here's the scoop, guys. We, we, we've laid out like 
literally, we've given you the Pareto law of unbeatable you, if you must, yeah. if you will. We've given you the, what, what, like, what does that even mean? We've taken, like, we, we, Ian and I have created a, a month long program we'll tell you about, about here in a second. And it's, it's like this 20 days um, to this, to this uh, program we created, which we'll tell you about more here in a second. But we've ta- we, we said, hey, if we had to pull out three things out of, the, out of these 20 days, this month long program, that people must have to start creating more of the life they want for themselves, we just gave it to you. These are the three pieces of, the, of that whole month long program that if you did nothing else with all these three pieces, you're gonna get so much closer to what you wanna get to. That said, guys, E and I have taken it a step further based on our own experiences, based on what we've seen with clients, based on feedback we've gotten from our communities, family, friends, and you know this, hey, you know, knowing what to do is one thing, like actually doing it is another. And I wish I was trying to bring up the image. You ever see that image, guys, where it's like, hey, people, people look at success and they think it's like the straight line. You know, it's like, hey, here's where you are. It's a straight line. Here's success. And right beside, it's like, well, here's what it really looks like. And it's success and this crazy, squiggly, crazy line. And we laugh about it, but that's the truth. Like, it is. It's not like, you know, the, the, the concepts we just gave you guys, you know, the concepts, that's like 20% of the equation. And some people are amazing. They can follow that and crush it. I'm jealous. I'm not that person. Um, but some people like, yeah, as much as the formula you've given me, it's still tough. I still got to navigate that squiggly line. And E and I, knowing that, we took it upon ourselves to create a month-long program to help you get further down that road to get you to where you want to get to. And I'll let E elaborate a little bit more on it. Yeah, well, because what we gave you here in this webinar is a base because we wanted to make sure everybody had the key tools that at least can get them pointed in the right direction. And again, like Mike said, if you can take that and rock it, go for it. That's what we designed this program to do. Take this file and and use it and download several of them and use them as much as you need to. By all means, we want that. Um, what, what we did do is we took it another step further for the month long program and we got deeper into some of the things that stopped you guys in your tracks, right? Cause we did, we reached out to our, our clients, to our family, to our community. We looked at our stories. We looked at the clients we've already served. And people came to us because they started and then they stopped and, and they couldn't figure out either why they stopped or they couldn't figure out how to get restarted or they were afraid to try and restart again. Right? So what we did was we, we took the base and then we added all those other elements that we know stop people from going and achieving what they're really looking for. And we addressed every single one of them in efficient and very concise ways. We, we look at everything from overwhelm and fear and limiting beliefs and, and help you plan how to deal with those. And when you do fall off track, how do you get back on? What is in your control? What isn't in your control? We really rounded out to give you not just the base, but a full on foundation to move towards those goals that you have. Yeah, it's, it's, um, how do I put this? We, we want to set you up to get to where you want to get to, right? So it's one thing to get there. We want to get, we want you to get there and not just get there and then get out of there. Like we want it, we want you to get there. Number one, wherever your there is, wherever your perfect day, we want you to get there, but then stay there. Like stay there. Like I always say this, you know, with clients I work with. Yeah, if you lost 30 pounds, I don't want you just to lose the 30 pounds. Then I want you to stay there. Like set you up to actually arrive and then stay happy, comfortably, fulfilled. And the thing is, if you don't get there the right way, you're quick to fall back. If like if you somehow manage to muster through through fear, through failure, through limiting beliefs, but you haven't really addressed them, it's a matter of time before, before you get pulled right back. And the unbeatable you helps you not just get, you know, like, you know, rough your way through it, but actually own it, get past it, manage it. Because guess what, guys? Fear never fully goes away. Limiting beliefs, negative self-talk, it's always going to want to creep in. It's just, and you guys are probably like, yeah, I know, it happens to me, it happens to me. So if we don't find out a way to just manage it, to handle it, 
um, it's, going to, it's going to win. And we don't want it to win. We want you to get to where you're going and stay there. And not just that, guys. When you're there, we want you happy there. Like, I always say this, you know, I, you know, I, I love the work I do. But sometimes I'm, like, overwhelmed and stressed because I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff done that I want to get. But I could not be happier, more healthier, more fulfilled. And that brings me complete joy. But the only way I'm able to do that is to have that base, is to know how to handle fear, the limited beliefs, that little voice that tells me, again, from eighth grade, you know, you're not good enough, you're smarter. Who do you think you are? It's always want to be there. But I know enough now how to, how to essentially how to manage it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle it back. So we want to provide you guys with that because you could go out, you know, one last thing I'll say, guys, sorry. You know, I think Tony Robbins says it best. You know, the ultimate failure is, is, is success without fulfillment. And when I say fulfillment, guys, I mean, like, you want to feel good about what you're doing. You know, it's not just, you know, you could go out and create a new career tomorrow, make more money, you know, have this big house, live by the beach. But if you're not internally fulfilled and happy and, um, and, and have what you need to, to feel and experience that, I mean, how, how, what really do we have? What have we accomplished for ourselves? So Ian and I want to give you that foundation. So whatever it is that you decide to build upon, you know, that you're going to be happy, 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 healthy, fulfilled for years to come. Yeah, and we're not promising that this is all going to happen in 30 days, but what we're going to what we're going to help you do is develop the habits, learn the tools, learn the process by which when the the voice comes cuz it's going to come. Like we've been doing this for years, that. right? And it still comes, right? So it's still going to come. So how are you going to manage that, right? We're going to help you with all these tools and things that you can use throughout the course, but we're going to get you on that foundation, right? To move you towards that. And we're going to be there with you every step of the way. The course includes emails with yes. videos, but it also includes once a week, there's going to be a group call where you can get your questions answered. You can also follow along with Mike G and E, uh -huh. and you can follow our journals. Cause look, we don't just preach this. We actually practice this. You can read about our perfect days. You can read about what our, our limiting beliefs are and how we're dealing with them. You can read on what we're doing alongside what you're doing. So if you get stuck, if you're like, oh yeah, well that's all good, but I'm not Mike, I'm mm -hmm. not E. Well, you know what? Then you look at it and go, oh my God, they're just like me. I guess I am just like them. Maybe I can get through this, right? So we've got the videos, we've got the emails, we've got the, the live group call, right? Every week we're going to have one of those. We're going to have open office hours. Yeah. That is like access to your own coaches, right? Once a week, there will be access to either Mike G or me, and we're going to be here for you to help you one-on-one -on -one if you need that, that little extra push. So we've got a complete program because we really want to carry you all the way through this month so you have that solid foundation so, so you can move forward towards what you're looking for. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's like, like he said, we just want to set you up as best, as best we can. And, um, and we, if you had, listen, if you have any, any questions, we'll, 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 you know, we'll take him here in, in a, you know, in a, in a, in a, just a, just a second or two in a minute or two, but if you have any questions, whether it's on this, on this webinar now or, or, or after that, if like, Hey, is this for me? Maybe I want to, you have some questions, reach out to us anytime. Um, it's, it starts October 1st. Um, there is, we're limiting it to 35 people. And the reason being that it's not to, not to throw a scare tactic and a scarcity tactic at you, Literally, we, we're making it purposefully that intimate because we want to have that dialogue with everyone in the program, uh, which again, for open office hours or weekly call, we want to be inclusive and as engaging as possible just because when we can fully immerse with you guys together that way, we have found that's when we get the most amount of benefit and results. So um, starts October 1st, 35 people. If you feel like it's for you, we'd love to see you in there. And just, we always believe this. Like, hey, hey guys, a rising tide lifts all boats. Let's win together. Let's do this together. You know, let's yes. celebrate together. Let's have these successes together. And, and then not only do you benefit, but those around you also benefit your family, your friends, your own community. So let's just win. Absolutely. Together, right? Absolutely. Uh, but I mean, at this point, we, we could open it up to, to questions and, you know, whatever those questions may be. And then that, and then that would be, oh, and then also the link for Unbeatable You. 
uh, so we'll right be down below. Below, all there. Or it's on the web page. It's on this Facebook page. That's right. Click Facebook on the link. Page on bwu.com, and that is it. Wonderful. That's it. How long was that? Yeah, I, let me st let me stop this. It one. was about.